This wonderful photograph of the barn at Cairnwood Farm hangs on the wall in the gift shop at the garden house at Cairnwood. It's probably the case that most people would simply enjoy the photograph and move on. But I wanted to know where the picture was taken from and what that was in the background. If we look carefully at this barn, we can pick up some important clues to answer the question. On top of the barn, there are three cupolas all in a row. And here's a closer look at them. At first, I thought that these two gable ends were facing the same direction, but I don't think that anymore. In a Facebook discussion, we got an important clue from Peggy Klippenstein Andrews, who grew up on this farm. Peggy said that those three starred doors are what is now Dana Kistner's front door. She added that the Klippenstein's house was off to the left, and the college is more or less off to the right. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty important to listen to the wisdom of someone who grew up in this place. On the barn, this gable end faces one direction in the same direction as the three cupolas, and this smaller gable end faces a direction that is 90 degrees different from the larger gable end. It is symmetrical with another smaller gable end at the other end of the barn. Next, I went and looked for some other photographs that might help me figure out the answer to my question. Here is an aerial photograph of the area taken in 1926. A close-up shot of the barn reveals the two smaller symmetrical gable ends on either side of the three starred doors. The pond is behind the barn, so it would appear that we are looking at the west face of the barn. Here is a screen capture of some video of the kids skating probably taken in about 1939. You can see Glencairn across the street and you can see no gable end facing you on the barn, on this side of the barn. Here is another shot from the same video that shows the smaller cow barn. It too has three cupolas on top all in a row. As it turns out, we will find out that the cupolas on the larger barn are in line with the cupolas in the smaller. Here are a couple of screen captures of some family video of the Boyd Osplund family skating in the 1960s. It clearly shows that this side of the barn had one gable end facing or pulling out toward the pond. Here is an aerial photograph that shows the Kistner residence in roughly the center of the photograph with the cow barn in the upper left corner. And here is a screen capture from Google Earth that shows the Kistner residence and the cow barn. Here is the Kistner residence, and here is the cow barn. This is relevant because it shows that the cupolas are essentially in line north and south, just like the cupolas on the larger barn. Now here is a photograph of part of a 1916 map of Brynathen. This map of Cairnwood Farms clearly shows that the west side of the barn had the two symmetrical gable ends, while the east side, facing the pond, had only one, as shown in blue. And the map also shows that the larger barn and the cow barn were both oriented with the cupolas atop, running north and south. It now should be clear that this photograph was taken from the southwest and looking in almost an exactly northeasterly direction. The photograph should have been taken somewhere along the line that ran from the gable end of the barn up to what is now the Swedenborg Library. Perhaps the photograph was taken somewhere along the access road into the farm from what is now Tomlinson Road but what was then Paper Mill Road. Peggy Andrews remembers the tree on the right. Sylvia Cooper remembers seeing this scene so often as she walked across the farm fields to get to the pond. Lacey smith Willie guessed that this was looking in the general direction of Pine Run Park, and Justin Odner predicted that we would be facing northeast in this photograph. As it turns out, we are facing almost exactly northeast. But what is that white thing in the background? What is that road? At first, I was sure that it had to be the driveway up to Harold Pitcairn's hangar. 
The problem with that theory is that the driveway to the hangar is almost exactly due north of the barn, and we have just established that we're looking at a northeasterly direction in the photograph. The only conclusion I can reach is that the road in the background is this driveway, which is in essentially the same spot as the driveway where a lot of the coals live today. I hope you've had almost as much fun watching this video as I have had making it.